Silver Valley. If you want to start working in detail in steel in advanced steel, this tutorial is for you. In few tutorials I will show you how to make complete project from start to finish. In this series I will show you how to make steel platform. In this video I am going to show you the easiest way to place a grid in your advanced steel project and modify this grid to fit your needs. The grid I am going to show you is for a maintenance platform for Chicago Transit Authority, Metra Chicago. This project is not a standard advanced steel project but because of that I decided to share it with you. Once you learn how to detail this project everything else will appear very easy. So stick around, check out the entire playlist for this project. Consider subscribing, don't forget to click bell notification icon. The project file is available on my website, link in the description below. If you need to buy the advanced steel software you can purchase it with a nice discount when you use my link also in the description below. Ok, let's get to work. Here I have a plan from structural engineer of the steel platform which is going to be attached to existing overhead tracks of the Chicago metro system. The plan does not show the grid system, so I'm going to make my own grid for this project. The overall dimensions are 13 feet by 11 feet 4 inches. Go to Objects tab, then in Grid panel click on the new grid. Specify insertion point as 00. zero. Then enter 13, enter, and 11 feet 4, enter. Your new grid is placed in the project. Now click on the top view in your 3D cube and then select the grid and double click. Now let's modify vertical grids. I have marked in yellow all the crucial dimensions to make the grid in advanced steel. In the dialog box in the group section enter number 6 as the quantity of grid lines. Don't worry about distances, we will adjust this in a moment. In the tall tab change label type to balloon and capital letters. Close the dialog box. Now select horizontal grid and double click it. As you see, we need only three horizontal grids with the dimensions highlighted in yellow. So again, go to group, change the number to three. In the tall tab, change balloon type to edging and close the dialog box. Now your main grid is ready. As you can see on the plan, highlight the dimensions between the grid. Let's adjust our grids to those dimensions. To make it easier and to avoid mistakes when calculating the values, I'm going to draw some temporary lines. The first distance is 5 feet 3.5 inches. Now I'm going to use a command DI for distance and click on the points between I need to measure. It is 4.5 inches. So I need to move my grid number 2 by 4.5. Select the grid you want to change and double click it. Go to display type and select single axis. Close the dialog box. Now you can move only single grid. Select the grid you want to move, move it into the direction you want to move and type 4.5 inches and click enter. Now you can go back to the grid dialog max and change it back to display time. Standard. And I'm deleting temporary lines I drew earlier, we're not going to need it. 
Now we are going to take care of the distances between vertical grids. Here I have distances highlighted in yellow to which I need to adjust grids. Here I am repeating procedure from horizontal grids to avoid calculation errors. Let's change the display type to a single axis. Let's make the temporary lines longer to pass the middle mark of the grid. Now let's grab each grid by the middle point and let's move it to the temporary line. Now select all the temporary lines and remove it from the drawing. All the grids are adjusted to required dimensions. Now we are going to add four shorter grids for the angles. One foot four apart from the main grid and three foot eight inches. I'm drawing two temporary lines for the new grids. Same thing I'm doing for the opposite side.
Now open Axis dialog, go to Single Axis. And add secondary axis on the side too. One feet four inches apart. Check main axis name and add apostrophe suffix. The distance between grid 2 and temporary line is 3.5 inches. Let's add new grid on this side of the grid 2. In axis index, change the grid we're going to be adjusting to grid number 2. Change offset to 3.5 inches and change the suffix. Do the same thing for grid number 3 with 1 foot 4 inches distance. The last thing we need to verify is the offset to the last grid. It is 12 and a half inches. Let's adjust this grid and we're done. Now delay temporary lines. We need to shorten the additional grids. Click icon with the scissors, then select axis which will remain, hit enter and then the axis which need to be shortened.
the grid is completed.